Hello, hello guys. Once again, welcome to Farming in Africa. And today is one of the exciting days. You know why? Because finally, I have a farm once again. Farming in Africa, Semenshia Farm is back on the track and we're kicking. But as you guys can see, a lot of work has gone into this. Uh, right now, we are still focusing on the pen and our pasture. Um, growing our Semenshia grass, as you guys can see, is going very well. Um, you know, over the years, I've he heard a lot of people talk about having their farm in the eastern region, in Afran Plains, in Kwau, um, in, 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 in Suhum and Co. And I didn't know the reason, but this time I couldn't even be much happier because the soil here, guys, is very fertile. I'm looking at, for example, this grass, and you can see how dark the, the leaf is, and that gives me a lot of excitement. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today I'm standing at the new Semenshia Learning and Development Farm, and you guys know the story behind this farm, um, the fact that we were asked to leave Brekum, and you know, we had to sell majority of our goats, keeping very small, which is gonna be our base that we're gonna build on. We didn't give good hope, and thanks to you guys and your courage, you know, and kind words, we got another land in Suhum and we started work right away. It's been what, about three months now where we really started building this farm, and now I'm standing here looking at about five different um, pen structures, looking at our treatment yard, and then we have about six different pastures to be able to do our rotational grazing. Um, and it's coming up really good. I don't know how much you guys can see, but I am very happy and I hope you guys are too. The most exciting news is that we have finally brought all the remaining goats. I think we had about almost 10 goats um, in Sinasi, which were kept. We have finally just moved all of them. They just arrived here and it has actually made the farm look more vibrant. It's life now. It was very different when we were just building and now having goats here is just amazing. Um, you know, I am somebody who do not dwell on the negative. Um, obviously, this incident has cost us a lot. Um, even getting these goats here. The crazy thing is that a week even before we were transporting these goats, two of them gave birth. One gave birth to three kids. The other one gave birth to two kids, right? Transporting such a young babies here all comes with a lot of challenges and so on. But the positive note is that we have goats here in Suhum now at our farm and it's just the beginning it's a very small beginning come along with me let's go and check some of the goals that we have here it is definitely a small beginning but we have done this and this means that now we can start bringing the goats in. This is the most important thing, the land, the infrastructure. I think that was what really hurt me is the fact that I will have to rebuild this whole thing again. But as I said, thanks to most of you guys that have been so encouraging to us, you know, your kind words, your support, anything that you've done, um, I really appreciate it. And I think um, it has gotten us this far. And this farm, to be honest with you, it's much more beautiful than the farm that we had in Snase. So I'm very, very happy with it. This treatment center, as I've said over and over, this is where we are really gonna be practicing the artificial insemination. So basically this center that you see here is probably gonna be roofed tomorrow. It's gonna be where the AI and treatment of the goats is gonna happen whilst we have this pasture as well. Come along. I mean, I can't stop talking about the Semencia grass. It has rained maybe three times here and it's just doing so amazing. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is just, just amazing. I don't know if you have planted yours or not, but the rainy season has started. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? We started this farm and the first thing we did was to start planting this, you know, and this is almost two months now and it's doing really, really well. Um, but yeah, come along, let's take a look at what kind of goats do we have here and how are they doing? Come on in. Yeah, so as usual, you guys know how we build our model. I think Nadia, I've taken you guys through, um, you know, this pen, but 
this is our exercising yards. You can see that these pens are much smaller because we are not really hoping to have a lot of goats here. So this pen we are targeting about maybe maximum 25 goats around this playing yard. And then these pens are much more nicer. You know, we use quality materials much more than we used in our Brecum land. As you can see, these tick trees are much more stronger than what we had, but come along. Let's take a look at what is here. Come over, let's... Yeah, so right there we have two of our best breed right here in Suhum. So this is our boa goat that is going to, we are going to use for our breeding purposes. This goat here, you might think that is actually a foreign goat. That is a West African dwarf male very good genetic very beautiful goat that we are breeding look at the stomach eating well very healthy we are going to start using that as well for our breeding and then we have this kalahari here which is also very good looking very strong male that we are going to use for um, just breeding purpose so these three males which is what we are going to use to build the foundation of this farm so take a picture of these guys because they're going to be the guys that are going to multiply our farm here very humble very small beginning but we are very hopeful of the future and we know that with these guys here you know it's just a matter of time and things are going to start looking brighter um let's look at this female here this is another very good mom here that we kept at our farm for breeding so it has a baby you can see that but yeah it's also here now all these guys have arrived safely in suhum and we're going to use them to start basically what we're going to do here in Suhum. Um, come along, let's look at these guys here. So these are some West African dwarfs as well that we have um, at the farm. So this West African dwarf was actually, you know, crossed with a Sahelian goat. I, as you guys know, that was one of the experiments that we were running in Brooklyn. So we did that crossing and you can see the a huge difference between um, this West African dwarf's kids. Unfortunately, all the babies are male, but that is still good. I think we'll be able to utilize them. How excited it is, guys, for us to be able to, you know, have a second chance to really do what um, we are born to do or meant to do here. Um, you guys, let me know in the comments below what you think, but I am super, super excited. I think there's so much we have to do here and it's just very exciting and I'm looking forward to everything that we're gonna do. Um, we have also built the sales yard, which is in front of me, and we're gonna start bringing local West African dwarfs goats here. You know, even choosing the right goat for breeding is a problem. If you go to the market, majority of the goat that you're gonna buy from there to breed are already sick or have issues. The goal for us next week is to start bringing all these goats either from Mali from the north anywhere into this farm and treat them make sure that they are good for breeding and then sell it to you guys that are interested so if you're interested in a West African goat a Sahelian goat for breeding from next week going we'll have maybe about 60 goats here that we can actually you can come here select your choice and use it for breeding where we have kept them for a certain amount of time to really treat them before we even hand them over to you. A lot of amazing things happening here, but I'm very excited about what this farm is gonna mean and the impact it's gonna make in the livestock industry here in Ghana. And I hope you guys um, have buckled up because it's gonna be a long ride. The sky is definitely the limit. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that we'll continue bringing you more updates as we increase the size of our goats um, numbers here in Suhum. But the exciting news is we are back in business and we'll continue to bring you more updates on how that is going. Thank you and I'll see you again in the next video.